It's very important that we have a quiet, safe environment for a horse to be both anesthetized, have surgery, and recover from general anesthesia. Prior to general anesthesia, we always make sure the mouths are rinsed out with water. We don't want to push any feed material, hay or straw, into their trachea, which potentially cause some irritation or, in the worst case scenario, pneumonia. The horse is brought into the induction stall. Once the horse is properly sedated, then they're given the induction drug. For the induction of anesthesia, there are several personnel. This is for two reasons. One is to make sure that the horse safely drops to the ground so we can put some gentle pressure against the horse's side so he can just fall against the wall. The other reason for that is we want to protect the people inducing the anesthesia because the horses are big animals, sometimes weighing up to 1,800 to 2,000 pounds the horse is in recumbency, then we can place the endotracheal tube, which is a tube that goes through their mouth and into their trachea. Then the horse will be hoisted by its forelimbs and placed on the operating table. It's a very safe procedure to do, and it's done in our hospital over 5,000 times a year without incident. Once the horse is properly positioned on the operating table, heart rhythm and blood pressure are the most important values to measure while the horse is under general anesthesia. Another aspect of the horse is they can't blink, and if they are blinking, maybe they need more anesthetic. So we place eye lube to prevent the eyes from drying out. In order to prepare the leg for surgery, we clip the hair, we shave the area for the incisions, and then we prepare with the skin with antiseptics. After preparation of the leg, the horse is ready for surgery. The surgery is completed and the area is sutured and bandaged. The horse is then placed in the recovery stall. Ropes are placed on the tail and on the head and used to steady the horse when he stands and to prevent him from banging into the walls or injuring the recovery personnel. Most horses recover from general anesthesia within an hour of being placed in the recovery stall.